All right, I'm excited to be back with you today for a software review of Custom GPT. Recently, I looked at about 28 custom uh, GPT-4 chatbots, which are chatbots you can train on your own custom data. This is a use case that I think is going to get more and more important as this world of AI evolves. Custom GPT seemed to be the best of the ones that I tested out. I was able to go the fastest, the farthest, and I want to dive into that with you today. You know, the real use case here is it only takes a few sessions with ChatGPT to realize that the more it knows about you and what you're trying to achieve, the better the results are. But uh, there's only so much text you can copy and paste into the context window. And if you've ever fooled around with trying to create your own vector database, you know that that can uh, lead to a lot of issues and challenges as well. So these custom chatbots like Custom GPT here are sort of bridging that gap and doing some of that work for you where they've created the vector database and you can just upload your information and ideally uh, use GPT-4 chat gbt to uh, interact with a larger amount of your data than you currently can straight through the window so i think the these are the very first versions of the uh, powerful ai assistance that will be coming our way very soon and i think it makes sense to get uh get familiar with the current state of the technology now uh, the plans here for custom GPT moving into uh, the software review section of the video here. The basic plan, $49 a month, gives you enough to really test it, kick the tires, and see what use cases, uh, what value it can bring. There is no free uh, tier. I will have a link in the description of this video for a free month that you can try it out there. And obviously it scales up uh, once you, uh, you know, if you have more data, more projects that you want to run. But that $49 a month plan is, is enough to get, uh, get familiar with it and, and start to figure out what it can do. Um, you know, I really like this software. It's a good mix of the basics, you know, not too much uh, customization but then if you really wanted to customize it there are options for deeper customization and you'll see that across all the different uh, zones that we're gonna look at here so when you're uploading the data you can upload pretty much whatever you want you can upload a site map so figuring out the where is the site map on your website and copy and pasting that in you can also upload PDF documents word documents and even uh, YouTube videos with a tweak that is available in a Jason West video that I'll link to. Pretty cool video that dives into custom GPT more and shows you how to upload YouTube videos into your custom knowledge base here. So really, it doesn't seem like there's too many limitations to what you can upload and it's very easy and clear on how you do that. Uh, then the actual chatbot settings, I thought these were pretty cool. Very good mix, again, of easy to use while allowing for a lot of customization. Um, there are some basic branding options uh, that, that are nice if you just want to, um, you know, create something simple there. And the ability to customize the default prompt and example questions, as you can see here, is really, really powerful. Because these tools, they don't work uh, quite like you would, would always expect. They're not a, as robust yet as uh, ChatGPT, as you might imagine. So giving your users some guidance on that initial prompt and on example questions can really help them uh, get more out of your custom chatbot. So I thought that was a really cool ad that I did not see in other uh, software, uh, custom chatbot software that I tested. Also the conversational settings was really cool. The one thing that set this uh, custom chatbot apart from some of the others is that it has GPT-4 as a default, which is probably why you need to pay for it. Uh, and there's no free version. Uh, the other thing that was cool here is you could flip between, do you want it to only look at your content or do you want it to look at your content plus the knowledge base of chat GPT right here in the conversation settings. That's huge. I did not see that feature in other, um, in other softwares that I tested and there are a lot of different reasons why you might want one or the other and we'll get into some of those in a second but I thought that was pretty powerful. There's also some really cool citation uh, options where you can turn on or off citations. This can be helpful as you're testing it. Can also be really helpful if uh, you know your, your user is looking to drill down more and figure out where did this answer come from. 
Uh, so I thought that was really cool. Very easy, very simple. There's not a ton of, uh, of customizations here, but it seemed like the ones that you wanted are there. And I think where you're going to need the most customizations is how you share out your custom chatbot. So the chair, the share link, the embed link, the live chat, those are all pretty standard. Those are across all uh, of the chatbots that I tested. Um, so the share link is just a quick and easy way to share it out. Embed would be embedding it on your website. The live chat would be that little bubble um, live chat that pops up on, on many sites for customer support. I'm sure you've seen that. And then the API looked pretty cool and I have a, another screenshot of what that API looks like. And then there was a brand new uh, plugins uh, sharing option, which will allow you to build your own chat GPT plugin, uh, just based on your knowledge base. So that was, that was very new as I was testing this throughout the week. Here's the little look at the API. I'm not a coder, but it looks like it's, it's pretty robust. So if you want to really get under the hood and use this in, in your projects in various ways, you've got a lot of options here. I feel like everything you can do in the, um, you know, web portal there, you can pretty much do with the API and there's good documentation there. So that was exciting if you wanted to dive deeper into how to customize this into a different use case. And again, that uh, chat GPT plugin option is pretty interesting to be able to just have this automatically show up in uh, the chat GPT plugins right along all the others, you know, have your knowledge base showing up there could be uh, pretty powerful. Um, so when I was testing it, you know, I was able to get some interesting stuff out of it. I have a client that is looking to use AI to create uh, training modules from a book that he just released. I was able to upload the book and get a little good work done on building these training modules. This is something you couldn't do with just ChatGPT because the context window is not big enough to put that whole book in there. Uh, and custom GPT worked well for that use case, which was awesome. I also uploaded all the PDFs that I have in my Patreon and was able to ask it some questions and get some intelligent responses back from uh, my knowledge base there, which I thought was pretty cool. And again, you can't do a lot of the other tools out there kind of fall down when you start to test them out. So the fact that these are that custom GPT is is solving some um, some problems is, is pretty cool. Uh, some challenges I had, there was some downtime. There was a bunch of times I would get an error message that it was saying that uh, OpenAI was potentially down and I would look and OpenAI was not down. So I think there's something they're trying to work out. Maybe by the time you're watching it, that has been worked out. And just some of the stuff I thought would be easy here, the second challenge, formatting of social media updates. I thought it would be pretty easy to just upload some information and say, hey, create some quick social media updates from this uh, data, from these different PDFs, et cetera. And it didn't really work very well for that right out of the box. But then when I flipped on that My Content Plus chat GPT and began testing it, that's when I found the, that that was a pretty useful feature and it started to get some better and better results where you're using all of the chat GPT knowledge base in conjunction with uh, your own uh, knowledge base that you've uploaded there. So those were a couple of the challenges I ran into, but again, with some testing, I was able to work through some of them and I'm sure these tools are just going to start to get better and better. Uh, in summary, I think these custom chatbots are going to be turning, uh, this is like the initial step to building these really powerful AI assistants that are going to be able to help you with your day to day. These are going to be the products that you can share your own knowledge base with the world. Uh, so I think it makes sense to kind of dive in and start playing with these as it's still early days here. Um, and start understanding what their current limitations are because I think it'll they'll start to pick up steam fairly quickly. And again, I tested a bunch of them. I uh, looked at 28 to some degree, dove deep into five. Custom GPT seemed to be the current leader. I've got a link in the description below and there's also a code there to get a month of free trial. It is an affiliate link, so I do get a little bit of revenue off that to keep the channel going. Uh, but I don't do a whole lot of affiliate links at all. This is definitely a tool that I'm checking out and using uh, and considering for the long term, I guess. So 
I appreciate you watching. I hope you got some value out of this and I wish you luck if you do decide to try out Custom GPT. I have a PDF version of all the information here in my Patreon. I have this for all of my videos. Uh, there's a tons and tons of prompts. There's also some Google collabs in there for some quick and dirty software uh, uh, automation and lessons on how you can use AI to build your own software. Uh, there's also some one-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting options. If you uh, have any problems that you wanna chat with me about, I'd be happy to uh, talk to you. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment. It really helps as I'm trying to get this channel off the ground and I will see you on the next video.